this weekend I am in York and I am staying here at the Novotel. Well, I just got through reception and a very pleasant member of staff who served me. Right, so I am in the room. Uh, Tarmax, separate cubicle, cubicle for that. And uh, bathroom. And shower. And then out here. Yeah. Double bed. Me. A large amount of room, space to move about. A kettle and a television screen the size of a cinema. Got quite a view from the window. Well, not so much at that side, but certainly you can see the the river over there. So. Storage, we've got a wardrobe, it's nice, and shelves, oh, and a safe. But I haven't brought any valuables. A spare duvet, hairdryer, which I won't use because I ain't got much hair left. Uh, oh, and it's one of these unusual situations where all the uh, clothes hangers are the right ones, they're all the same. Well, I've actually found something that's not working. Um, my kettle is uh, not performing as it should be. So it's got the water in. You press the button and it just bounces back. So I have to hold that down. Like the water boils. I think when I do videos about hotels that I've stayed in, I haven't stayed in many over the past eight years because I was caring for a friend um, and we also had the pandemic so travel, we went from a period in terms of travel from travelling lots to travelling very little. Um, but I'm always reminded of two hotels, and I can't remember the name of one of them, but it was, I stayed in it 30 years ago, so it was before I started doing video making. Um, and that was just, it was like um, faulty towers, wit large. Uh, and the other hotel that stands out in my memory was the Pennsylvania Hotel in New York which looked like it had never been cleaned. The windows, you could barely see out of them because they were so muggy. Uh, so I tend to compare all hotels with, with those two. And this one is absolutely fantastic compared uh, to those. And even if I wasn't comparing it to them, it's actually quite a nice hotel um, for what, what, what I'm after, which is really just somewhere to kip for the night. I'm here for the weekend. I've got a conference on um, and I just need two nights accommodation and two breakfasts. Uh, and I haven't done the breakfast yet, that's for tomorrow, uh, but otherwise th this, this suits me perfectly. <sighs> Bed test time. Oh! Oh! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, nice for the mattress. Just have a mic on. Right, at reception uh, they gave me a note about various things, which also says that there's no phones in the room, uh, you can WhatsApp them instead. So, uh, if you want to, let's see, uh, go to their gourmet bar or get something from their gourmet bar uh, or their restaurant, uh, then all you've got to do is uh, WhatsApp them. Hey, this technology is not half clever. So, this is the gourmet bar that I mentioned earlier. So this is the restaurant, and for a moment, I'm going to be testing out my breakfast. 
of one of the meetings, and probably more receptions of meetings. Yeah, but lovely to be able to be able to meet them. Right, breakfast time. Right, breakfast over. Um, edging towards the ever so slightly disappointed, um, but not quite. Uh, I think it was uh, the, the breakfast was probably about a six out of ten. On a positive note, uh, I reported the the kettle being a problem uh, yesterday afternoon and they immediately replaced it so uh, new kettle. Now it's the second day of the stay here so um, today I'm actually going to go for the uh, the Continental. Right, uh, breakfast done. I have to say that, um, that that's an eight out of ten uh, for that continental one, rather than six out of ten for the full English I had yesterday. Well, my trip to York is just about over, so I'm about to uh, leave the hotel. So, would I recommend it? Well, actually, it's been fine. Uh, it, the price was slightly on the steep side, £385, but there's a big conference taking place this weekend in York anyway, so that would have soaked up most of the, the rooms and pushed the prices up a little bit. Uh, so, uh, apart from a slight niggle about the kettle and uh, the, the full English, uh, I can't see any problems here, and I think I've had a great time, so yes. I'd recommend it.